Hello, good day everyone. I'm Tevs. Welcome back to this channel. This next repair is an American Home 32 inches LED TV. It's turning on, but the backlight won't light up. I will show you how to fix it. If you are new to this channel and you like to learn electronics, you are on the right channel. So never forget to like and subscribe. You can also ring the bell to never miss a video like this. So let's get started. Looks like someone already repaired it. This capacitor is too big. And this MOSFET seems removed. This is the LED driver. Let's measure the output voltage. It measures about 25 volts. The voltage should be boosting up so that the LED bulbs will turn on. Looks like the driver is not working. The diode is not shorted. Let's try to replace this capacitor. Unscrew the main board to be able to desolder it. Let's also remove the MOSFET to test if defective or not. The MOSFET is a N channel. This is how to test a MOSFET using an analog multimeter. Set the meter to RX1. If the MOSFET is N channel, tap the negative probe at the drain and tap the positive probe at the source. If the meter doesn't measure any resistance, the MOSFET means not shorted. 
but if you tap the red probe to the source and the black probe to the gate. The MOSFET will turn on. And if you touch the source together with the gate, the MOSFET will turn off. That means the MOSFET is not damaged. The MOSFET is OK so let's solder it back. Replace the capacitor. Let's try now. The driver still won't turn on. This is the IC driver. Measuring the voltage. It has 12 volts.
and the BL on has 2.7 volts. The voltage to turn on the driver IC is seemed complete, but not turning on. My next option is to replace the driver IC. Let's remove it. The driver SN51DP IC is similar to OB3350CP. As you can see the pads have for this type of IC. This will work. Let's solder it. Let's try it now. Turning on the TV.
It's boosting now and the LEDs are lights up. But it turns off automatically. Seems there's another problem. Then I found out the 470 microfarads 35 volts is begins to blow out. The person who tried to repair it placed a 470 microfarad 35 volts capacitor. That's why it's turning off automatically. This is the driver output capacitor, it should be a 100 volts capacitor. Now I replaced it with 47 microfarads 100 volts and now it's working fine. A few moments later. The TV now is working great. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and understand my video. If you did, so don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also ring the notification bell for more videos like this. Once again I'm Tefs. See you again next time. Bye for now.